Who doesn't want a better night of sleep? I know I do. As a mom to a toddler and a solopreneur, sleep is a critical component to my self-care. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my evening rituals that guarantee me a better night of sleep and hopefully you too. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. When I was in college, I was a full-blown insomniac. I would stay up all night, I would go to this diner in the next town over from where my university was, and they poured coffee all night long. And I would hang out there with friends, we would study, and that worked really well for a while until one morning after my early morning radio show, I passed out halfway into my dorm room. So half of my body was in the hallway, the other half was inside my room, I had passed out from exhaustion. I don't want that to happen to you. We don't have time for that. We need to restore and replenish our systems. We need to be nourishing ourselves and my evening routine has helped me get a better night's sleep and hopefully it will help you as well. Evening ritual number one is a technology detox. So this is something that I instituted a few months ago and it has made a huge difference in my evening and the quality of sleep that I'm getting. So at 9.30 every night, no more technology. I shut it down. I'm not watching a show on Netflix. I'm not looking at my phone. All screens do go dark. I put my do not disturb on my phone. And I've made that commitment to myself because, I mean, research has shown when we keep those blue lights on, it really does impact our body's ability to recognize darkness. And when our body can't recognize that it's night out, when our body doesn't recognize that it's actually time for us to go to bed, it disrupts our internal rhythm. And so picking a time for yourself where you go dark on technology can help set yourself up for success. The second evening ritual that I have to improve my sleep is meditation. And I talked about this in my morning success rituals video, so I will include a link to that in the corner above and in the description below. But what I've put in place for myself is a nightly meditation of five minutes. And what I do is I sit for five minutes in silence, tuning into the sensations in my body, tuning into the rhythm of my breath, and what I have found this practice does is it bridges that transition from being active, being up, brushing my teeth, being in the washroom with the lights on, to being horizontal in bed preparing to sleep. And you can meditate for as long as you like. I have found that between five and 10 minutes works really well for me at the end of the day. I do a 20 minute meditation earlier during my day. But just that simple five to 10 minutes, it slows everything down, it grounds me, I make sure that I'm sitting up to do this meditation so I'm not lying down. And it does make that transition from being awake and active to being asleep in my bed much more effective. And I find that when I meditate, my body is ready for rest and I can tune in pretty easily now to when the meditation needs to wrap up and when I can transition to my head meeting the pillow at the end of the night. I would love to know what you do to get a better night of sleep. If you have something that you incorporate into your evening ritual, share it with us in the comments below. The third ritual I have in place is to end my day in gratitude. Practicing gratitude daily has been shown to reduce stress and increase happiness. And I'm somebody who wants to end their day on a high note. My husband and I have a gratitude practice that we do every single evening. It's called Three Wonderful Things. I'll link to that video in the corner above and the description below. And what it does is it reminds us that no matter how challenging the day was, there are always three wonderful things that we can find about every single day. And so find your technique for practicing gratitude at the end of the day. You may choose to write things down in a journal. You may choose to do the three wonderful things technique but find a way to end your day in gratitude that leaves you feeling grateful for the abundance that you have in your life. The fourth thing I would encourage you to do as part of your evening ritual is to make sure that the environment that you're sleeping in is conducive to sleep. 
So you might have a ritual that you perform at the end of each evening where you close the blinds, draw the curtains, fold down the bedspread. I like to keep my sleeping space very minimal to keep distractions out of the way. So I make sure that there aren't books by my bedside. I make sure that lights can be dimmed easily. I make sure that there isn't a lot of stuff around to distract me from the process of preparing to go to bed. When I'm distracted right before I go to bed, my sleep is interrupted because I haven't taken that time to create an environment that is conducive for a nourishing night of rest. Make sure you take a moment to download my 50 self-care tips for everyday living. I'll include a link for that below. I hope you find these tips helpful for getting a better night of sleep. Sleep is an essential component to our self-care routine and making sure that you get that nourishment, that time to rest and digest is so important. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Monday and Thursday. Stay ignited and well-rested out there. I will see you soon. Bye.